what's the greatest risk to your SLA? I think it's... Well, sorry about that. Uh, unsubscribe. Okay, where were we? Um, the greatest risk to your SLA. Right. I think it's alert fatigue. Sending too many alerts will quickly cause your engineers to ignore the ones that matter, causing downtime. Let's look at how you can customize your alerts from Checkly to make sure you only get what you need. First, there's our account-wide alert settings. This is where we set the default behavior for alerts. We can also manage the settings for alert channels, including whether we want to get recovery notifications on this channel. This is also a way to see which checks are sending to this channel. But what if I have a check that's super critical, but only sometimes? This check monitors my test environment. I want to monitor it closely, but only during our weekly deploys. The best solution is to have the check set to a high frequency, but leave the test deactivated most of the time, which you can do at the top of the check settings. Deactivated tests show up with gray names, while muted tests show up with the gray icon. Okay, let's talk about the checks that are business critical. For my e-commerce business, if any of these four checks are failing, we're losing money. So I want special alert settings for all these checks. That's why we're using a group. From the group settings, you can control the scheduling strategy and the geographic locations for the checks in that group. You can also control alerts and retries, including the channels these high priority tests will use. Groups are super convenient. I can use them for other stuff too, like giving everything in the group the same environment variables. From the checks menu for this group, I have a button to manually run all the checks in the group or go into an individual check settings. I'll see a reminder that many of the settings are managed at the group level. All right, now we've got all our alerts nicely customized, but look, we're coders. Do we really want to manage all this by clicking around a web page? Let's use monitoring as code to manage our checks and their settings from our IDE. Here we have all the code for this check and all of its settings in a separate file. Our group settings can also be managed here. Now, what if we set up a bunch of checks with custom settings in the web UI and we want to start managing things with monitoring as code? Just use the Checkly CLI's import command to pull all your check code and settings into a local project that you can control with source control and deploy to Checkly when you're ready.